My name is Kadir Aware. I'm uh, originally from Kurdistan of Iraq. Uh, I came to the city of Sioux Falls on uh, October 1st, 1977. I've been in this community for about 30 years. Uh, we are right now in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I come as a refugee, like I said, I'm originally from Kurdistan of Iraq, and Kurdish people is uh, the largest nationality in the face of this or in Middle Eastern countries, still don't have their own government, their own country. Uh, I apologize, we have our own country, but been taken away from us. Uh, Kurdistan geographically is united, but politically is divided between four countries, Iraq, Iran, Syria, and Turkey. 38 million Kurdish people is living in those four parts of Kurdistan and none of them have their own right and their own representative. So 40,000 years been like that. And as the Kurdish people of Iraq, we stood, uh, stood up against Saddam Hussein's regime. We fought against him through the leadership of the Kurdistan Democratic Party and uh, his leadership of the Mullah, uh, General Mullah Mustafa Barazani. Uh, as a young man, I kicked out out of school because of that, uh, then able to finish my high school. Uh, I uh, became a freedom fighter with the Kurdistan Democratic Party, um, fought against Iraqi government for two years, uh, shot in the war. Uh, we didn't have any choices in 1975 to put our gun down and become a refugee. Uh, we come to Iran as a refugee, uh, many of those Kurdish people. Uh, and suddenly the United States decided to bring 10,000 of those Kurdish people between uh, 76 and 77. And thanks God I was one of those uh, 10,000 people with my wife and my daughter was seven months old at that time. And after that we arrived to city of Sioux Falls and this is a home. Um, as a system, I notice I'm free. I can talk against President of the United States, I can talk against Senator, Congress, city uh, government. Nobody was coming to slap me and put the handcuff and put me in jail because of that. Politically, I was free, but in the community, it was miscommunication. I've been yelled at many times, go back to your dumb country where you're coming from, or uh, not shy to say I've been sped on, not because I was drunk or a bad guy, just because People didn't understand, especially after hostages been taken in 79 in Iran. Uh, I did have some difficulty. Many Middle Eastern people have a difficulty because they all thought we are all Iranian, which we are not. For a people coming from different country to South Dakota was not very something to be accepted right away. I'm not going to stand for that. Uh, I'm going to make a difference. And I hope I made a difference, but I think uh, Sioux Falls come to be a one of the best community for me and my family and for many other multicultural people. I raised my family to 100% understand who I am, where we're coming from, what our people are struggling with. And at the same time, I taught them everything valuable and wonderful about American culture, American life, this way they have uh, both sides uh, of the history of the, uh, in their life. Uh, with both sides making them be a better person and stronger person than I am. Uh, and I believe uh, America, a uh, country of opportunity, and I believe America never asks you to change who you are. They ask you to be a best citizen you could be. America is a country to uh, give you opportunity to represent yourself by who you are, but be a good citizen of this country. A multicultural center uh, was my dream for many, many years ago. Uh, at the time I came to the city of Sioux Falls was a lot of uh, after a year, year and a half, I feel that there's some, some, some difficulty uh, for somebody like me coming from a different country, uh, don't know so much, so much about the system and the culture, uh, and coming from the countries under dictatorship. Shop, and I feel that I'm going to be free in this great country. Uh, after a year and a half, I found out it's a little different. And the system, I was free, but outside in the street and the places I go to work, it was some differences, some prejudice, and some perception. So the office of the Multicultural Center is open in April 1997. Uh, and I was president of the board for a while, and after that I stepped down to be executive director 
uh, and I am part of it since the days has been found. Uh, the mission and goal of the Multicultural Center is to make a difference in our community, uh, to build a bridge of understanding and respect for all culture and all people in the city of Sioux Falls to live uh, and, and respect each other as a community member, not judging each other by the color of the skin, nationality, or religious belief, or social economic, or gender. Uh, and, and that was my goal. And uh, so far, my goal and my, uh, my, my dreams come true to be a reality. Uh, we have about 30 different programs. Uh, we have a very strong after-school program. We have reaching 120 people, 20 kids a day. One of them is native read, just for a native kids to strengthen their reading program uh, in school. Uh, Aggie read, which is only refugee immigrant elementary school kids, to because uh, 80, 70, 80 percent of those kids going home, their their parents do not read and write to do a homework with them and read with them, so our program enhanced that. We have English as a second language uh, for adults. We have a woman health uh, for refugee immigrants to educate them about breast cancer and, and many other women diseases and stuff. We have a driver education for immigrant and refugee, which we are the only organization in the whole country uh, doing driver education for a refugee immigrant. Um, so you name it from the, from the uh, court issue, a uh, housing issue, small business administration. And in fact, uh, in the sense of 2000, they recommend City of Sioux Falls, Ellis Island in Midwest. Uh, city of Sioux Falls is the number one city in the country right now, per hundred thousand population. Uh, for a multi in city of Sioux Falls, we have people from 94 different countries today, awesome. speaking 124 different language and dialogue in city of Sioux Falls today. Uh, that's how the center is created, to be a spokesperson, to make a difference in the life of those who newcomer to understand what's the struggle and how you overcome those struggle and how you can be active member of the community and how you be successful, and at the same time remind mainstream they are just a human being like you just like your grand grand grandparents came in as a refugee immigrant uh, build it and now is the time to turn it to new people as a new people is turning it to other this country is a country of immigrant I say 60 percent of the high school student don't have so much problem with the differences because they see those differences with them every single day. They see them, they are just like every other kids. They laugh, they joke, they play basketball, they eat with them in the cafeteria. You know, it, it, it is just getting used to it. They are not different. Uh, Sometimes prejudice and perception, discrimination is passed generation to generation. And my golden city of Sioux Falls to cut that generation a little bit What's the difference between me and you as a human being? Why are you above me? Why white should be better than the black? Why black should be better than white? Why Native American be less than anybody else? Uh, we are all human beings. So if you disagree with me because I'm a Muslim or you disagree with this man because he's African American, that's fine but don't have a right to disrespect him for it. And if you not start disrespecting him, it's a room for improvement. My goal is in life was to make a difference for the people in this community, for the people like myself coming to this community from all those different countries and make this community better for all of us, not just me, for all of us.